Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome to Talking Shit with the Manic Genius and your boy, the Sophisticated Jerk. So today we got a good clip where, you know, Desirable Truth, you know, we watch quite a bit of his stuff, man. The guy out here doing the Lord's work, exposing stuff, but he got one where he's asking some ladies kind of like what they bring to the table and all that, you know, so definitely a good conversation. So before we go in, man, you ready to go in, Manic? Oh, yeah, you know it. All right, man, don't be holding back. Don't be holding back. Let me pull this up. All right. How old are you? 22. 21. You single? Yeah. Yeah. So why don't you have a man? Because niggas want temporary shit and just want to fuck. So I'm not on that. I'm too busy making money. You're looking for a serious relationship now. Yeah. Lifelong. Yep. If you were to get a man, what would you offer him? I could go bring whatever he brings to the table. What would you want him to bring? Um, Energy, effort, time. That's all I ask. I don't ask for money. I make my own money. So you're fine making more than your man? Yeah. I've dated niggas who, like, just got out of jail, so I let them live with me. I let them, I fed them, clothed them. Like, money don't matter to me. So why are you being the man in the relationship? Because I ain't never had no nigga step up. So that's why I'm single right now, because I want a man. Like, I'm ready to be my soft girl era. But why go for the bad boy archetype? You like what you like. How old are you? <laughs> wow, how old did you say she was? Uh, let me catch it again. Yeah, I can catch the 22. 22. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Oh, she's so young to be so. <sighs> 22. So... How are you even running into a guy who's been, who's did, you know, j- you know, jail, prison time? Well, she did say jail time. So I guess that's kind of common. But at 22, you shouldn't even be running into that. You you saw the 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 tats yeah, the, and everything, yeah, man. Like, yeah, she had face tats. Like, what are you doing as face tats as a woman? <laughs> no, nah, but like a- answering your question, it's just like, man, like, yeah, twenty two, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, man, when we was uh, on one of the panels giving some pushback, like, you know, this is what happens when uh, people don't have their shit together, and it's just like, man, they go out there and you know, run into the bad people, man, they started trying to adapt that behavior because, man, that's what it seemed like she did because, first of all, she was using that N-word like she was, you know, part of the culture. So, you know, she's around, like, those type of dudes and stuff trying to, you know, emulate their behaviors and stuff. And it's just like, man, at 22, man, she looked like she was damn near 40. You know, so she looked burnt out, you know, got tattoos all on the neck and stuff. And, yeah, man, just, you know, trying to trying to talk like she ghetto and stuff. So... Yeah, the, you, you like you said, man. Yeah, how the hell you really at a young age run it? Man, you should be like trying to build yourself up, wh- whatever it is, like trying to get some some type of education, or at least like working, getting yourself in a certain capacity. But yeah, she just like killing killing her value. But I like how the at the end how he was just like, hey man, like she was like, well, you know, I'm ready to kind of switch now and uh, get in my soft girl era. But it's just like. Ain't too many dudes uh, that got their stuff together gonna come and like mess with you, man. With all those like, yeah, you know, tats on your neck and stuff. It's like, man, you don't push yourself <laughs> way out of like tolerance at this point, man. To where, like, it's like almost like she trapped herself to a certain tier, you know. Like she ain't yeah. gonna be able to get out of that tier. So I'll go ahead. I'll toss it to you, man. What's your what's your take on that whole clip? No, I agree with you a hundred percent. You know, you should never brand yourself, uh, especially that young. Because you just don't know, you know, where life is going to take you, what opportunities or yeah, what opportunities are going to be presented in front of you. And, you know, I don't know about this young lady's background, but, you know, I can make uh, an assessment just based off of her tattoos and, you know, that she doesn't make great life decisions, you know, and that's unfortunate because, you know, she's only 22 and like. She could have stood up there and said the exact same thing without any of those tattoos. And, and guys would be like, what? Her? She's a good looking woman. I, I can't believe she's dating, you know, felons and stuff like that. And like, you know, 
what's going on? They would be confused, but you know, but yeah. all those tattoos that she got, it's like, oh, we know exactly, you know, what type of upbringing she had, you know, or she makes her own money doing what? Because you can't, you know. See, look, look, look at the. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Come on, I'm back. All, all, all this, like, 22, man. Yeah, and she got a face tattoo, like, you know, a little. Yeah, right there. Yep. Yeah, so it's just like, and she's not a bad looking woman, so it's just like, but just young, dumb, and, you know, it's kind of like, she's kind of already, she stamped herself. She's marked herself for like, hey, this is the type of guys, you know, certain guys wouldn't even approach her. You know, kind of like the guys were that could allow her to be in that soft girl era. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She out the she out the mix because like like you uh you kind of saying it's like man like I'm I'm thinking about it. You know, we we got good paying jobs, definitely in a professional environment. You yeah. know, so it's like man, we got work functions. You know, where we like get together and stuff. You you can't really take her to anything like that, man. You know what I'm saying? And that that's the the bad thing. So like you said, a guy that could have possibly put you in you know like a good position. He's got to look at it from that approach. Like, man, I can't be taking her to no uh, <laughs> work function and stuff like that. And just another thing, you know, man, this is kind of messed up because, you know, my son's 20, this this same age. And, you know, he's like working on uh, going to school, working to get himself in uh, certain positions and stuff. And here she is at the, the same age, like kind of like just tearing herself down when it's like, man, you should be building at that age. Yeah. And then, you know, like the, you know, people he kind of hangs out with, you know, they're you know, all doing the same thing. So it's like looking at it from like two different prisms of people that age, man. So yeah, she's definitely doing a lot of self-destruction at this point. And it's just like, yeah, you know, the typical guys like that might be successful, like we're getting to that actually, like she's going to think is like physically attractive. They ain't, ain't touching that with a 10 foot pole, man. They're going to be like, oh, hell no. Like, <laughs> but I, I do feel, I, I do, because she's so young, I do feel bad for her. That, you know, she like stamped her body up like that before getting a chance to actually live life and find out what she actually likes. Yeah, she might need to get that uh, laser removal on some of it. I was you talking know, to tattoos. somebody and, you know, those laser those laser removals are not cheap. Like even for a small laser removal, <laughs> um, just to get off that face, you know, someone had told me something like it, it's like a thousand dollars. Mm, okay. You know, for something small, like, I mean, for that little thing on her face, that might be like, I mean, the person who told me about it had like a tattoo, it was like maybe like this size, but you know, to get the little face thing removed, um, if it's only, if it's even half that $500, she got to come up with $500 just to remove that off the face. And then she got to wear long sleeves, you know, she can get hollered at in the winter time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I would way. just say the face and maybe maybe some of the neck, because I mean, like you said, yeah, it's going to be a little expensive. But look at all the income she's going to miss out on by not going down that lane or yeah, even yeah. potential like, you know, guys that got themselves together. So it's like, hey, we're looking at yeah. it from a standpoint of like it might be like five yeah, G's all together for the neck and the face. But you're missing out on probably like by not doing it, maybe like a, over just say a decade. Mm, yeah, you know, damn near like between fifty and a hundred thousand of like potential uh, income from like moving up and stuff. So yeah, nah, I, I, that's that stuff would be removed, man. Damn that, because yeah, like you said, did. not like she. I don't know if she has records or anything, but it's like if she ain't got no like criminal background, she might mess with the dudes. But it's just like, hey, if she kind of did some of that stuff and got her stuff together, and you know, mm -hmm. went to school for something, it's like, man, you could have a career and start coming across professional people. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it is sad because like you said, it's just like, you know, she's trying to entertain, you know, the criminal element, thinking they're bad boys and stuff. And it's just like, man, she's like taking herself down. Like I said, chipping away at her value, man. So it's yeah. she's going to lock box herself in. But all yeah. right, man, you got anything else on this one? Uh, I mean, at least her friend was like a little bit more like. Yeah, you know, like, I see them. <laughs> yeah, her friend was like, I'm not saying nothing. And then her friend was just like a little bit more conservative. So I honestly, in 10 years from now, I don't see them even being friends because, you know, you got the girl who's all tatted up and then you got her friend who's just like, you know, kind of there. But her friend has the ability to like change and 
you know, doesn't have that stigma, you know, with all the the the, the face tats and you know being yeah. out there. So this will probably be one of those moments where she looks back and like, yeah, I used to be in a different environment. Now I'm here married, you know, got kids, house, white picket fence, and yeah, and she'll, she'll back, just have. I wonder what happened to so and so. She yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to run with her, but you know, life hit her differently. Mm, it's like a documentary and shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but all right, we'll go ahead and close this out. Yeah, nah, we'll keep sending us stuff and we'll keep breaking it down. But all right, peace. <laughs>